we back. Now, before we get into today's video, just a reminder that I will be in New York City this weekend. And if you want to come meet me and the rest of the homies, I'll put the link in the description so you can RSVP, come out, have a good time. Now, today's video, we got another quiz from Vought. Now, every time they create a quiz, I feel like I get their name better and better. And sooner enough, I'll be pronouncing it exactly the way they want me to. But they create these very creative quizzes, and they're always super fun, super funny. They're great with the editing. So today's video is the NBA Initial Quiz is the name of it. I don't really know what it means, but I'm here, and I'm ready for it. All right, so NBA Initial Quiz, again, is what they call it. Don't know what it means. All right, so here we are with Vought. Welcome back. It's been a while. It has been a while, guys. But Vought has returned back to the roots guess the team by initials okay i'm ready for it come on drop them rules okay let me pause so i can read the rules we show you the initials of the top two of the teams top two players you guess which team it is that's basically it share subscribe you may pause w um, I'll put the link in the description so you can subscribe. They're very close to 2,000 subscribers, so go subscribe to the homies over there. They've been they've been really putting the work in. Oh, yeah. We got the top two players based on 2K ratings to avoid dispute. We don't need more idiots in the comment section saying that Anais Cantor is better than Tim Hardaway Jr. Jr. He's not. Please subscribe. No harm. No foul. It's literally free and easy. It is one button to subscribe to me and to Vop. Let's go. The easy one. So it's usually easy, medium, hard. LeBron James and Brandon Ingram. We're talking about the LA Lakers, obviously. That is super easy. But I know this is based on 2K rating, but is Brandon Ingram the second best player on that squad? You tell me in the comment section below. Uh huh. This is the pass to JaVale McGee. Should JaVale McGee be the second best player on the team? The guy's been balling offensively and defensively. Shout out to JaVale McGee. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins. We're talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves. These quizzes were created. Uh, a couple days ago, so obviously after the Jimmy Butler trade. I, this is one of the best games they've had together. In the fourth quarter, Wiggins took over a little bit, and Cardinal Towns had a big game against Anthony Davis. And speaking of big, yeah, right on Nikola Mirotic. We're not really on him. That leg was in the air. It could have been an offensive foul, but a nasty finish from Wiggins. Back door, Drew Holiday won the best to... Ugh. When you zoom in on it, it gets a lot worse. Nico been balling though. Nico been balling. Yeah, I know that. I know that hurt. Ow, ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, Kyrie Irving and Jason Tatum, the Boston Celtics. Easy. I mean, these are the easy questions, but I, I feel like I'm blowing this out of the water so far. Oh, this is gonna be on Jason Tatum's highlights for the rest of his life. This is one of the the biggest moments. Come on, come here, LeBron. Ah! Yo, when I was watching this, I had the whole family with me. And the whole family hates LeBron James because of what he did to Chicago when the Bulls were actually good. So they were all rooting for the Celtics. I wasn't rooting for nobody. I just wanted a good basketball game. And we got that. But this was crazy. The text message you just heard, my car is ready to get out of the shop so I can go pick it up right after I'm done recording. Okay, that's that's huge, huge news, but okay. But yeah, this is this is crazy. Not only because he dunked on him, it's because he pushed him and Marcus Morris was yelling in his face and everything. Well, man, this this is so nasty. Imagine being a rookie dunking on, some people believe the best player of all time. Mm. And bump him. This is the moment. Jason Tatum arrived. He had been having a great season, postseason, up until that, but still. Russell Westbrook and Paul George, PG-13, the OKC Thunder, who were very good this season, man. I want to see them continue to be good. I think I predicted them to win like 50 games, so they need to they need to do that so I don't look like a fool. Uh, Russell Westbrook's not in this clip. This is when he was injured. But... I got PG-13 on the fantasy team, so I, I know what he'd be up to. The guy's been hooping, hooping. Hooping, hooping. He started off pretty slow, but he's been hooping, hooping. Um, Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin. Detroit Pistons. Detroit Pistons. Also a team that's been hooping, hooping. But it's really just been those two players. It's a two-headed big man monster. After that, it's like nobody's really stepping up to the plate. Duncan Owen B. Blake Griffin looks great. He looks great. When Blake Griffin is healthy, he just he's just been balling. So I, I love to see him hoop out there and dunking on Joel Embiid. Very early in the season, right there. 
so far? Perfect score from Kenny. Y'all get that joke? I'm not gonna explain it, but if you get that joke, you know that's a dub. Next, the medium ones. All right, let's get it. We got all the easy ones, which is expected. Kawhi Leonard, Cal Lowry, Toronto Raptors. We just found out that Kawhi Leonard signed a New Balance this morning. I don't know if that's a W or L, my guy, from Jordan and New Balance. Question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. But. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bro, you throw a nasty B behind anything and it's going to slap. Ooh. G-A. Wait. G-A and K-M. Oh. Giannis and Chris Middleton. He did say in the beginning that we can't pause, so that's okay. Giannis and Chris Middleton. Easy. I guess it wasn't easy because I had to pause. But this is when he dunked on his homie. From one Greece brother to another. Coasters, don't jump, brother. Woo. I like when Giannis does the, like he's sniffing up the sniff. Oh, okay, another one. R Why do I keep doing that? RG... Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. Sometimes I'll be forgetting that Rudy Gobert is like a star in this league. Def defensive star in this league. Utah G's. Was this, is, was this the game that they lost by? Is that the game they lost by 50? Or was that a different game? I don't know. That's a crazy dunk from uh, Dunk Contest champion Donovan Mitchell. DD in LA, DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge. San Antonio Spurs. Come on, man. You can't. You think you're going to fool me with these? Even though I do forget that DeMar is there sometimes. Like, you know, I'm so used to him being a Toronto Raptor, so it's a, it's a little weird. But speaking of... Uh, oh, I, I missed that play. Hold on. A 360 layup is a lot harder to execute than y'all may think. Try it the next time you're in the gym. Especially with contact. DeMar DeRozan is the man. Career high in assists this year, too. Oh. Uh. Your balance has to be incredible, impeccable for that. ZL and LM. Who do we know in the league that Z? ZL and LM. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I do want to get a perfect score. Z. I'm going. Zach Levine and Laurie Marketing. Yo, I'm that that is my team. And I almost didn't even get it. Zach Levine and Laurie Marketing. We need Laurie to come back soon, and he says he's very close. He's day to day. Speaking of that, 360. Very, you know, very casual 360s. You know, two time dunk contest champion, probably an all star this year, most approved player candidate, Zach Levine. City jerseys are hot. City jerseys are hot. Okay, so now we're going to the hard ones. I still have a perfect score. Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton. That ain't too hard. That ain't too hard right there. That duo is going to be there for a minute. You know, they, they've been playing okay together. The rest of the squad, maybe not so much. But those two have been putting up their stats. That's a miss. I remember this play. But you get it back and then dunk. That's disgusting. I got those Pumas. Those Puma clad courts. It's not a sponsorship, but they're some of my favorite basketball shoes right now. Especially for their price. You know, pretty decent. Kemba Walker, Jeremy Lamb, Charlotte Hornets. Even though Jeremy Lamb, I mean, I guess he technically is their second best player. What a great game. What a great game. It sucks that they couldn't put it together, but 60? 60? And that's that's like top of the glass. And then the shrug. I don't know if MJ was in attendance in that game, but the shrug. To be honest, we could have put Kemba twice because when your second best player is Jeremy Lamb, you should just delete the franchise. Yikes. That's not me saying it. That's them. I ain't saying it. That ain't me. T-H. T-H. And L-W. Well, I'm, I'm thinking Lonnie Walker, but I, obviously Lonnie Walker ain't a star. L-W? I'm gonna just... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> At Lou Williams and Tobias Harris. How can I forget? Yeah, he put this game away. And then he put away the game against the Golden State Warriors. So that's my first one, uh, first one that I got wrong. Okay, whatever. 
I feel bad about that because I actually watch every single game of them this season. They've been balling. GD and Hassan Whiteside. <laughs> Goran Dragic, Hassan Whiteside. The, the homework? Hassan Whiteside, two things we don't like. Is that Patty? Nah. I actually like Hassan Whiteside. He's a character, man. I got him added on Snap, and the guy's Daddy. always having some fun. Oh, was that this year? I definitely don't remember that. Hold on. Goran Dragic said, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Coming through with the finish. Left hand to finish. Goran Dragic has always been one of the best finishers in the league as far as the guards go. Goran Dragic, do your thing, brother. Um, CL. DR and CL. Daniel Russell, Karis LeVert. I'd be forgetting the CL, Karis LeVert. He's been out for some time now. Um, he was having such a good year. I can't wait for him to come back. They say he will come back this season, too. So I can't wait for that. But yeah, this is D'Angelo Russell and company. Oh, I remember this. This is when we should have known that Karis LeVert was about to have a good career. Because not only did he hit Wayne Ellington, he, he looked at him for a little second. Did I do you like that, my brother? Get my feet together. Because if you make somebody fall if you don't hit the, and you don't hit the shot, it don't matter. Oh, that's about, that about does it. Be on the lookout for part two. Okay, so we got one wrong out of the whole quiz. Um, let's help him reach 2k as it says. I'll put the link in the description. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like. Shout out to Vot once again. It's been Katie. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.